Hey, I'm Anna and together with my husband Ola, we have traveled throughout the whole of Canada. We have visited Niagara, Toronto, Calgary, Banff and Jasper National Parks, Whistler and Vancouver. We have seen marvelous lakes, mountains and wildlife, cute little villages and big cities. Sometimes we have been amazed by the beauty of this country and sometimes not so pleasantly surprised. We have experienced 30 degrees Celsius temperature drops in just a few days this summer. We traveled by plane and by car, stayed in hotels and tried to eat good quality food as much as it was possible. And now we're here to show you everything. Let's discover Canada together. everyone before leaving Calgary we decided to visit Calgary's farmers market west we have heard lots of good things about this place and we have seen lots of videos where people eat really delicious foods in here so we are excited to see what we can find in this place our visit to Calgary was not a very successful one you will find a video about our time in Calgary on my channel I will leave the link in the description down below and now let's go see Calgary's farmers market if you are enjoying this video don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet let's go
can say that Calgary's Farmers Market West is a very cute place full of delicious options. We, what we have got for ourselves is a cinnamon bun with cream cheese icing. I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, I also got a blueberry and white chocolate scone, which is not here. It is, our, it is in our bag to take away to eat later. This is a bagel, which was supposed to be with salmon, cream cheese and avocado. But they didn't tell us that they don't have like the avocado slices, but they have kind of an avocado paste, which I'm not happy about. And this avocado bagel cost us 17 dollars Canadian which is expensive and this is a plate of pasta bolognese which costs us 12 dollars I've tried this one already and it is delicious I can say this one is totally worth the money also we have a cortado coffee and um, drip coffee both coffees really good uh, the drip coffee is quite strong but it's delicious I really like the place it's cozy and compared to Calgary's downtown it really feels safe and clean and modern. I feel comfortable here, that's a nice place. Just before coming to this farmer's market, we went to Walmart, which is 15 or even less than 15 minutes drive from here. And uh, I have to say that this part of Calgary doesn't feel like the downtown of Calgary at all. It feels way safer, there are way less homeless people. At least like on this farmer's market, there are zero homeless people. It really feels safe and nice. So that is the part of the city that I think is better for you to come and stay at. Also, if you need something to buy for yourself, like to eat, you can come to Walmart and buy all of those stuff there. The supermarket is quite big and good. We're gonna have our lunch right now and then we're heading to Ban and the Lake Moraine for today. our meal here in Calgary's farmers market and my final impression is the best place that we went here was the Italian place which is called Forno di Fontaine and uh, we really really love their pasta bolognese it was even better than pasta pasta that we tried in some places in Italy that's why we went to take the second uh, portion that we will take away to eat later today and uh, the bagel that we had was so-so. The salmon inside was really good, but the bagel itself, I would say it, was, it wasn't soft enough for me. Uh, the cinnamon bun here that we had, in, uh, f that we had from Yum Bakery, uh, it was too sweet for me and there was too much icing. It's like the, the, uh, the sweetness of the icing is overpowering over the cinnamon in the bun. So, and it's, it's like too moist. I, would, I wouldn't eat it again. The coffee is very good. The coffee is from Phil and Sebastian Coffee Roasters place. That's the only coffee place that they have here on the farmer's market. And that was our visit to the farmer's market. We really liked it. And I think if we come to Calgary again, which I highly doubt, but if we do, we will definitely come to Calgary's farmer's market and we will definitely stay in this part of the city.